Good morning or afternoon, wonderful students, wonderful artists. We had a request to draw aliens. So we're gonna do some space aliens today. And I'm gonna show you two types of aliens. The first one is gonna be more of a step-by-step -step thing. So we're gonna start with the neck actually, which is kind of weird. And this is a very skinny alien. So we have the little popsicle neck I always tell you not to do when we do portraits. And then we're gonna kinda of do a big balloon coming off of there. So we're gonna start on one side. Nice big balloon. This is gonna be the alien's head. And come back down to the other side. And then the eyes, the eyes are almost like the Spider-Man eyes we do, where we start with the V, but it's not as big. So I'm going to kind of go down here, down here, and then we can round them around with that U shape, but keep them nice and round, All right? It's not really a point here, here. It's still a kind of round. Oops, mine are a little lopsided. And we can color those in. Boom, boom, boom. And maybe it has a little tiny mouth. Maybe it has two dots just for the nose. And then their bodies are very long, elongated, and skinny, so. And their fingers are very long, too. So I'm just gonna do some simple lines, almost like spaghetti. That's his thumb, and his fingers are very long. Hello. Come with me. And you can have fun with this. I mean, it is a space alien, so if you wanna give them two fingers, that's great. If you wanna give them 100, sure. If you want to give them some sort of laser gun, maybe this one only has two fingers. <laughs> you see we have these little curved lines for the body. We'll give them some nice long legs. And... Let me try to move this up so you can see his feet. Come on, little, f oh, there's another one down here. Look at this, that was my practice one before I started with you guys. I don't really know what their feet would look like. I'd keep it simple. Maybe he's got some toes there. So it's all long, skinny lines. So now we have a space alien there. That's, so that's one way. You could add any kind of details you want to it. Some texture for the ribs, maybe. Um, and the other kind is the kind where you can just totally invent some crazy looking alien and use your imagination. So these are what I would call the imagination aliens. And I like these ones because I don't even need to know what it's gonna look like. If you think back, those of you that did the Basquiat lesson, where you drew your feelings and you just kind of made it up as you went along. That's how I'm going to do my this alien. I'm just going to make it as weird as I can. So I'm just going to start with a line. You can't really follow along with me because I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. So maybe it would be best for you to just watch me make mine. And then you can try to make one on your own after. But the key here is just to let whatever kind of happens, happens, draw slowly, and it'll start to come to you. So I, again, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Now I'm starting to see he's gonna have a giant eyeball right here. So he's got like one eye, and this is gonna be his nose. So I'm gonna put a nostril right there. And this is his mouth. I put some teeth. Wow, this guy looks really weird. Now again, yours, you should not be trying to copy mine because I was making this up as I went along. So you will do your own alien where you make it up as you go along. Just start with a line and see where it goes. And use your imagination to sort of pick out the different parts of the alien, the eyes, the nose, if it has a nose, if it has an eye. 
Mine does. So now this is starting to feel to me like sort of an octopus type thing. So I'm gonna give him a couple tentacles. Maybe he lives on a planet that has water or some sort of poison liquid that they live in. Go there. I kind of want to do something here. I'm not sure what I could do. Maybe he has another eye over here. Whoa, that makes him look really weird. So, maybe I'll put some texture. Maybe I'll make him bumpy. So I'll make him I'll put some texture lines to make him look real bumpy and weird. This one is disgusting. Sorry, kids. Maybe you'll make a cute alien, but I didn't. Here, I'll give him some eyelashes. Oh, now he's pretty. Now he's a pretty alien. <laughs> that just makes him even more horrible looking, doesn't it? Anyway, so here are the two kinds that you can try. Let me give him some little suction cups down here. Try both of them if you'd like, or just focus on one. It's up to you. Uh, and I hope you have fun with it. And thank you to the third grader China who gave us this awesome idea of drawing aliens. All right, everybody. I cannot wait to see what you come up with on Tuesday. Bye-bye.